okay, we got that Microtech Amphibian. I got the thumb studs removed. We're going to do an HRC test on it. It's an M398 uh, with some letters behind that. I believe that is Microtech's version of saying we got our own steel. It's a proprietary type of thing. Uh, so um, may or may not need this block. I don't think we're going to. Now Nick took a stab. He guessed at where the number was on this knife. We'll test both sides. I have not tested it yet, so we don't know where it's at. Um, I think Nick said 58 is what he's guessing. And I'm, uh, I mean, I, I gave him a little bit more benefit of the doubt, man. I'm, I'm really hoping Microtech got this uh, M390 family right, you know, and, and get, has a number that people can, can get along with, you know. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with 61. Yeah. Of course, uh, a lot of people, most people want to see M390 family above 62, but at least 61, you know, like it's what I'm, what I'm hoping to see. Not that I really care. <laughs> My thing is just, uh, let's get these numbers out here, you know, and see what's going on. Make your own conclusions as to whether you like it or not. Um, and it's going to be under six. Man, you never can tell with that. No, you really can't. It is a deceiver. It's like, uh, it, uh, exactly what I was thinking. I was like, it looks like it's going to be 64. Because, well, you know, a lot of times we get 64s. Yeah, something like that. But let's see what's going on with it. 61 on the dot, baby. <laughs> Microtech. <clears throat> and that is on a flat. That's on that little bitty flat part right here. It's going to be beside the thumb stud. He's going to have matching holes on both sides. Because I'm going to test it again. Because this is like 57 on this side. Then both of us were right. That don't look like it. See, you know, you see what we're talking about where that needle falls. Like sometimes it'll fall like at 25 and then it'll end up being over 60. But we saw where the Harbor Freight knife was like, the needle was just kind of hovering around the 10 area. And I thought it was going to be in the 40s. Uh, but it wound up being a 61 HRC knife. 60 and a half, baby. 60 and a half. So, um, yeah, you never really can tell with all that. But uh, I like this knife, man. This knife is, like, really comfortable. I'm not going to do a set-down review or anything on it. Got the Axis style lock. Don't know what Microtech calls that. Don't really care. Um, yeah, no thumbs up. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> excellent. Um, excellent texturing. No, like. Not a lot of hot spots. It's just G10, I'm assuming. But nice texturing, you know, like they call it the amphibian. I think they missed out on a hell of an opportunity like to use something that was rust. LC 200N, um, Magna Cut, yeah, Magna Cut won't rust, you know, something like that. You know, I, I would have automatically assumed since uh, Magna Cut was the new kid on the block that that might, that might be what they made it in. And this knife might be older than that. I'm not really a Microtech aficionado right. or whatever. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know when this knife was made, but I like it. You know, um, it's uh, got good action and all that good stuff. Anyway, you got anything to add, Courtney? No? All right. Well, that's two tests for you. One come in at 62. No, one come in at 61. One come in at 60 and a half. So, uh, nice numbers, man. Congratulations, Micro Microtech. I, I know we'll ha still have people saying that's soft and shit. Now, I haven't used the knife, so I don't know how it performs. I haven't sharpened the knife. I don't know how that runs across the stone or any of that stuff. But it's a number. What in the hell? I've got some light in here. We don't need light. We're shooting for darkness. Man, she's trying to melt the sun. Oh, you guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the flip side.